Hey guys, this is Jeff with Pwn CNC. Thanks for stopping by the shop. We're gonna be doing an unboxing video today of the ATC kit from Pwn CNC. It's uh, pretty exciting. This is gonna be a multi-part series. I'll be going through the whole disassembly of my current setup and then installation of the ATC. So with that, let's get to unboxing. Okay, let's dig into it. Right on top of the box, we have a color-coded list that has an inventory of everything that's in the box. Everything's color coded and colors match wrappings on all the different cables and hoses and all the different items in the box. First thing out of the box is wrapped in blue. And looking at the list, that's a 20 foot pneumatic tubing for the tool changer. And we've got one wrapped in red. This is 10 feet of pneumatic tubing with quick change connector for the dry air supply. So there's your typical air tool style quick connector. And it'll go into a push fitting into the pneumatics enclosure. And here's a green wrapped hose. This is 20 foot of tubing with a splitter for dust. There's our splitter and there's the two hoses. One of them is for dust and the other is for the tool itself. The ATC will give a puff of air to clear any kind of wood chips and dust out of the way when it's doing a tool change. Okay, getting into the cables, we have a pink one. Uh, pink is a run safety cable, and we've got a couple power cables. One for the VFD and one for the pneumatics enclosure. And this one's marked with teal. Danny did mention that he didn't have all the colors when he packed my box, because this is a really early shipment um, of the Velcro wrappings. But he has those in stock now, and he'll be wrapping up all your hoses and cables. So this is marked with teal. This is the spindle power cable. Real nice, high quality flexible cable. Easy to put into a drag chain or anywhere else. Orange ATC control cable. Sends the actual signals back and forth to the ATC, to the tool changer. Yellow is the manual tool change button. It'll plug into the pneumatics enclosure. And when you push this button, it'll release the tool. You can take the tool out, grab your other tool, put it in, release the button, and you'll have your tool changed. Last cable is purple the motor sense cable. Now for other parts in the box, there's some French cleats. The French cleats are used to mount your enclosure up on the wall. You mount this on the wall, the enclosure will hang on it. And then likewise, everybody asks what these are. This is a lock. It'll go on the bottom of the VFD like that and then you'll screw it to the wall. So it'll keep it locked into the French cleat. So there's two of those, so you can mount the VFD and the pneumatics enclosure and two French cleats. Um, we've got an IOT plug that will connect into the side of the VFD and you can run that to a smart power strip to turn on your dust collector or anything else that you want. Could be your pond pump if you're using that route. We've got a couple of wrenches. These are special wrenches for the ISO 20 tool holders. It doesn't look like a regular wrench. This one kind of does, but they're also very thin in this area and that's how they lock into the ISO holder. And speaking of holders, it says on here we've got four tool holders. So let's see what we got. There's one, two. So there's the four tool holders. And you can see in these slots, that's where those wrenches go for tightening down your collet inside of there. And there's flat spots up here for the two wrench method to get it all nice and tight. Uh, the ISO tool holders, it's a standard. You can buy them anywhere. We sell them on our store. And we got some collets. So we have an eighth inch, two quarters and one half. So there's a half, there's the eighth, there's a one quarter, and there's the other quarter. These are ER20 collets for the ISO 20 tool holder. Now we come into the VFD. It looks very similar to the standard VFD we've been selling for a while. Uh, all current models going out are the exact same. Uh, they have all this stuff for 
spindles and braking resistor and the run, the run safety, Modbus and PWM for control of the spindle speed, IOT, and there's the auto manual switch. And here's the pneumatics enclosure. So this is the new one. This is the new device we had to design and engineer for the ATC. It has got all your electrical connections, switches on the one side, three different hoses for the tool. There's an additional one that could be uh, configured and programmed in for other things. It could be air assist for a laser, hose for the dust blower to keep your tool holders clean when it's doing a change and also the air intake listed at 0.6 MPA or 95 PSI for pressure. That's what we need to be able to run. And we've got three gauges on the front that are showed for tool, dust, and then again, the additional. And now we got the last thing, the spindle itself. So there it is. The PWN CNC ATC, automatic tool changing spindle. And there's the business end with the ISO 20 tool holder. And then on this side, we've got our three air condition, air connections. We've got cool connectors for my system, along with the controller and the power cable. Everything's labeled as far as the power, the liquid cooling, the tool changer, the air supply, the other liquid cooling, de-dusting the signal wire for all the control. And that's that. That's everything out of the box. Uh, next video, I'm gonna get into changing out my current system, taking the old one off. Then we'll be, as I take one piece off, I'm gonna put the other one on. Uh, so most likely, I'm gonna start with the spindle. First thing off will be the spindle. And then we'll go to uh, running the cables, I run everything up on a boom overhead, and it'll go to the back wall. And then I have an air system I have to finish hooking up. I've got this blue hard line is run to the back of the machine, and I still need to get that finished up. And I'll probably make a video of that also, just so you can follow along with basically the entire setup. If you're coming in from ground zero to hooking it up, it'll give you a little bit of an idea what you got to do for an air system. Thanks for stopping by the shop today while I unbox the ATC spindle kit from Pwn CNC. Uh, we had a good time. I'll be making future videos detailing the entire installation of the Pwn CNC spindle system on my Onefinity Elite. You won't want to miss those, so be sure to down below, like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when those videos come out. And last but not least, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.